Benchmarks are Google Analytics metrics that help you compare your business performance against the performance of other businesses in your industry. Benchmarks are offered based on groups of businesses that are similar to yours called peer groups. To be eligible, you must enable modeling contributions and business insights in your account settings. When you use benchmarking, your data is encrypted and protected, ensuring your data remains private and aggregated. Additionally, thresholds are in place to ensure that a minimum number of properties are included before benchmarks become available to a peer group. This allows you to safely compare your business's performance against industry standards while also ensuring that your data is protected. Also, in order to be included in a peer group and contribute to its benchmarking metrics, analytics properties must have a minimum volume of users and be generating a minimum volume of meaningful data. This ensures that benchmarking data is high quality. All right, to access benchmarks, go to the overview card on the homepage. Select the metric you want to change. Expand the benchmarking category. Select the metric for which you want to view benchmarking data for. You can click the badge to turn benchmarking data on or off. When benchmarking data is turned on, the benchmark will appear in the overview card for any available metric. When you turn on benchmarking, the overviewed card shows your property's trend line via the solid line, median in your peer group via the dotted line, range in your peer group via the shaded area. The benchmark range is within the 25th and 75th percentile levels. Hover over the trend line for more details. Your default peer group is assigned to your property based on the industry category you chose during setup and other attributes like the default URL and the app ID specified in your property's data streams. To change your peer group, click on the peer group button underneath where it says benchmarking peer group. When you expand the benchmarking data badge, there are over a thousand different peer groups to choose from. For example, you can start in shopping and then pick a subcategories within shopping, such as apparel, clothing accessories, watches, and smartwatches. All right, now let's take a look at a few sample scenarios and interpret what our next best action would be. Here we are in the Google Merchandise Account Store demo. Let's say you see that your new user rate is below the median of your peer group, suggesting that you're acquiring new users at a lower rate compared to similar businesses. In this case, you might consider increasing your investment in your acquisition strategies, such as targeted advertising, social media campaigns, or content marketing. Now, let's say you notice an average engagement time that's higher than the median of your peer group, suggesting that your users are spending more time interacting with your content compared to most peers. In this case, you could capitalize on the high engagement by strategically placing calls to action or personalized recommendations. Let's look at one more scenario. Your bounce rate is higher than the median for your peer group, suggesting a large portion of your users are leaving your site after viewing a page. In this case, you could improve your site's user experience by ensuring content is accessible and optimizing your landing pages. In this video, we reviewed the benchmarking feature in Google Analytics. Use these insights to gauge how your business is performing and adjust your marketing strategies. Happy measuring.